Hey, shalom, following Yeshua. Welcome again to The Rock. I want to actually put a face to the post I made on Facebook, Facebook, on uh, YouTube, on there not being a live stream today. Um, we've been hitting it really hard this week, and it's it's drained. It's drained me. And, uh, uh, you know, I know people will say, you don't owe us a... a uh, a reason, but I just wanted to put a face behind it to let y'all know um, that yes, we are going to be hitting these live streams. We have plenty of topics coming up. Uh, it's just been <laughs> it's been a draining summer. Uh, a lot of transitions, a lot of things we're doing. I'm here in what most people knew as the goat or sheep pen. Um, it's transitioning into. Uh, uh, more chickens so that's one thing that we want to focus on is uh, chickens uh, so that's what we're doing so I'm transitioning part of this area for that uh, for chickens and uh, hasn't been easy hasn't been easy you know pulling up t-posts that you put in the ground and uh, well pulling fencing down um, because, you know, you're going to go back to doing goats and, and sheep? Yeah, we are. I mean, actually, we still are doing them, just not to the scale that I was doing it in. Um, a much smaller scale. But, yeah, we're here. We're doing great. Family's doing great. Sisters are doing great. Uh, they've been hitting it hard themselves. And uh, it's, it's moving forward. just want to give a word of encouragement to your brothers. You know, a lot. I know a lot of you have been getting a lot of correspondences, a lot of emails of, Brother, I left this group. I left this camp. I left this church. Hallelujah. You know, walk in the preeminence and what Yah gave you. You know, walk in that. You know, don't get, you know, there's a lot of deception. A lot of of uh, stealing of manhood, of your dominion. You know, if it's not the, the system taking from your, your dominion and manhood from you. If it's not, you know, feminism taking your, your manhood and, and, and your your dominion and your preeminence from you. You turn away from all that and then you come to the church. Church. And religion then takes your manhood and preeminence from you. Your uh, your inheritance for your children. You know, don't let somebody deceive you by taking part of the Torah and then part of Acts and taking your preeminence from you. Don't let, you know, these people are, it, it's amazing. You know, guard, and this is what our next live stream is going to be about. Next six day or seven day night or Friday night, start of Shabbat. Uh, hide your wives, hide your children, hide your money. That's what it's going to be about. Protecting your seed, protecting your house, protecting your name, protecting you. You notice, just I'm going to say something and I'm ending it. So something I want you to think about. You notice in today's uh, church, you know, religious atmosphere, and I'm not talking about Yah, I'm talking about religious atmosphere. These churches, they, 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 they attack your, your, your family. They attack your manhood. They take the manhood away from you, your preeminence, your dominion away from you, and they transfer it to the church so that your wives, wives, or children look at the pastor uh, or the elder or the head of whatever as they're the ones taking care of me. They're the ones that are, are watching over me. And then after that, they take your name. Because once you finally wake up to what's going on and you say, I don't want no part of this no more. They then go on to their social media websites and everything and they destroy your name. After they've taken or, or caused dissension or confusion in your home with your wife and your children. Your children don't know. Don't, don't, they look at you as father and daddy, but then they look at the pastor and the elders as, oh, look at him. Same way your wife looks at him. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh. And after all that, and they take your money because you know you work in and get into handing over thing, everything over to them, you know, for the name of the Lord. They then. After you wake up and you leave, they didn't take your name. They destroy your name. All your friends that you knew don't want to talk to you no more. Think about that. Meanwhile, if you focused 
and did what Yah had you to do. Build houses, take wives, buy lands, plant vineyards, have children, take, you know, take wives and have children with them. If you did that, your name can't be erased. Let me tell you something. Obedience to Yah will never cause your name to be erased at all. So many men are worried about their name being erased from Israel, the name being erased. Your name won't be erased if you follow Yah's way, if you obey what he said. Your name won't be erased. Oh, what about this? No, see, these groups and, the, and, 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 I, and you know what? I'm going to be honest. I was a proponent of it. I did this for a little bit of time, you know, years ago, but I didn't. You fear people. I tell brothers all the time, stop trying to fear sisters in adjoining your house. Stop trying to fear sisters into polygyny. You know, you're, you're, you're talking to a people that includes you and that includes me. We are most of us first generation. How are you going to go around telling everybody they're wicked? That's like going to every single man and telling every single man you wicked because you don't have land. You don't have a homestead. You don't have animals. You don't have our agricultural understanding. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have. We don't do that. That's not how you do things. You run around telling every woman you wicked because you, and you disobedient, you rebellious because you don't want to do polygyny. You do understand that a lot of these women, it's first generation. You do understand that, right? They just left the world and are coming to the truth and the first person they hear the first thing they hear is you're wicked if you won't join my house only rebellious women don't want to join polygyny well couldn't these same women come out and say well only weak dudes don't have their own land you do understand that we're all working towards getting back to the understanding of what it is that we lived and let me tell you what it is that we live doesn't include you know beating up your own household, your own children. We are first generation. Our children are first generation coming out of this wicked way. Don't you think that you should have a little bit more mercy and understanding that we are all just coming out of this Western society? Why don't we talk to the people with understanding and love? Talk to your children. Not threaten, you know, if we were in our land, we, this would happen to you. We were in our land. Like, you do, what? What? <laughs> that's, that's what you tell your child. If I was in my land, I would have killed them. I would have just, you know, just tucked them to the elders and killed them. What? What? It's a shame. It's a shame. That's a scary thought that a father's thought, a father's word of his child is not, hey, son, let me teach you. I know we've been, you know, we've been, we, we've, we, we, we've, we've been removed from our ancient ways. Let me show you something, son. Let me show you a better way. Let, look at my example, son. Look at my example, you know, daughter. And, and, and hopefully this, this will show you something. No, it's a, I would kill you. Even if he committed, your children commit sins. It's like, you do understand that we live in a culture where a lot of sin is okay. This culture teaches children in grade school to, it's okay to change your gender. Don't you think it'd be a much more, it'd behoove us to stop acting like we are in our land and understand where we are and operate in wisdom according to where we are? How about understanding if it's difficult for us as adults to break away from this westernized society, have love and understanding for your wife, wives, and children who are equally breaking away from this society. And your wives are the weaker vessel. Your children are even weaker than that. Who, and they have an abundance of pressure put on them from this society. See, I don't run around trying to trick my children or anything. I just show them this way 
in this life and I let them enjoy the life that they're living. I let them enjoy the things that they wouldn't be able to enjoy in these cities and I teach them and they see it and they want it. They want it. They embrace it. Stop acting like we're going to restore with us. That restoration, we're just the start of anything. We're the start of anything. We're first generation. It'll take generations of doing this thing before we even have an understanding. We act like we got the understanding and we're the first ones doing this thing. We act like we're the epitome of wisdom and we are the first ones doing this thing. We act like we got it all. Most of y'all, uh, 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 us, we just opened up the Bible and just stepped foot out of Christianity 10, 15 years. Do you think that our ancients think that they had it because they were walking in any of this for 10 years? Most of them, third, fourth, fifth generation, and they still sinned. Some of y'all, you know, are two or three years out of westernized religion. I think you got it. You're ready to harm your children. You're ready to throw your wife away. And you've been out this, you've been out for what, five years? Some of y'all came out, divorced your wives, threw them off to the side because you read Ezra. <laughs> and you thinking that's you. Brother, that ain't you. That's not you. That was our ancestors. If we can learn the wisdom from that and, and learn. And one of the things that I'm seeing is that we have to learn how to apply the book. Instead of rushing to hurry up and, and I wish we were in our land so that I could execute these judgments. Well, you do realize that if we were in our land and those, ex those judgments were, were executed on us, do you understand what the judgments would be for the falseness that you have done? You're acting like, oh, I would have done this and done that. You understand that based on that same statement, many of us would have been put to death. Many of us, you're talking about you would have wished you could stone your this and stone that. You do realize that you would have been stoned. You do realize that, right? You do realize that if you were the one that was breaking the Shabbat, or picking up sticks, what would have happened to you? So you got to be careful of these things that you want for others. Especially because our children are the ones who are going to be picking this up after us. And most of us are destroying the witness, the blessing of the life that Yah gave us. We're destroying our children. How many children have parents that are in the faith and those children want nothing to do with you. Not because they don't love Yah. Not because they don't love the ways, but because all you talk to them about is death and destruction and you could wish you could have stoned them and if we were in our land, we would beat the shit out of you. What? These children look at it like, so on one side, they're teaching me to be transgender. On the other side, I will be stoned to death. It's something to think about. I love my children. So, I will I say this to y'all. Hide your wives, hide your children, hide your finances, hide the words that your children hear from these religious leaders. Hide the words that your children hear from the world. Just hide your children and hide your wives. Hide yourself. Take care of yourself. But like I said, I'm tired. I'm about to go in. About to go enjoy my Shabbat. Bless y'all. Have a blessed Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.